saw this off. That's no longer needed. This is later on in the operation. We just kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Uh, you know, we all stop around here and get onto that lathe. Let's get over there and see what we can turn. Okay, let's make a cut. This cast iron as shipped, it's oversized to the size that I ordered. The outside right here most of the time will be hard. So you have to take a cut off the outside here to get down to the actual working metal. The easier way to know how much to take off of that with a set of calipers just zero it out there to where you ain't got nothing on there and then take the part that you're going to make if you are that if you have that luxury put it right in there and grip up on it okay lock that in let's see what we got that's 372.5 can we get that on the counter? Okay, to, to, to know how much bigger this piece of material is, and it's apparently that it is, when you just kind of eyesight it, to know that figure without getting out the pencil, is just go ahead and zero the caliper out in that position. Y'all see them zeros? Okay, loosen that up. Now come up here and put the my comp put the caliper on the outside of the material lock that in where you don't lose that measurement and come up here and it's 228 thousandths bigger than the uh part that we're going to make so that's how much that i need to remove off of this down to that size That's not too bad a cut for a manual machine. That's not too bad a cut. Chinese made. The And I'm going to use this whole piece of stock is the reason I kind of got carried away on the cut there. The length is uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to make this many valves and more. To check our work after that last turn, to check our work zero the caliper measure okay that's a pretty good that's a pretty fair precise measurement actually it's not
Okay, pretty good measurement. We got one point three seven three five. The valve that we're making. Okay, remember that number. Well, let's lock it in. Zero that number in. Come over here. Measure the valve. Lock it in. And then read the results. And you see we got a half a thousandth. Can you see that little five over yonder? So we, we have, we've got the finished size of the valve turned. Now let's, uh, what I'll do now is remove this from the lathe and take it to the bandsaw, saw this off, and then we'll return and then chuck this part here into the lathe, turn the 45 degrees on it. Let's get on with that. See, actually, with that uh, .5 there, four places down, uh, and, and this is one of them Chinese-made lathe here now, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll give them that, their, uh, <laughs> when you put a five way down yonder, you know, in my world, that's, uh, you know, you, I read that as zero on a Chinese-made lathe. I mean, it's an old Grizzly, a G9972Z. That's all I got to work with. 